point and just behind us is Mandalay City. It's absolutely stunning from up here. To a waterfall. <laughs> it's a really steep walk down. Uh, we're with a bunch of locals. I'm not sure. We just got taken from the tuk tuk. Uh, not really sure what to expect. We came to see the pagoda, but we're off somewhere else. <laughs> this little lady, she's fan fanning me every two seconds with her hat. No, Waki, me, carry. What, you're going to carry her? Come back, come back, me, carry. And me? Okay. You're going to catch her? Okay. You carry me. You carry me. You carry me. You carry me. You come back, no, Waki, me, man, carry. No. No way. No. So I think we're going to get carried back up this hill. I think there's about four waterfalls here. Uh, we're in Pin, Pin Uluin City, and we're off to see... <laughs> they keep fanning us, it's flipping freezing. <laughs> oh, we've got a little hat and that as well. <laughs> oh, the it's hat. so hot. Yeah, um, <laughs> this area is called... Uh, <laughs> so hot. <laughs> the thing is, it's cold, but I'm not sure what the whole fan thing's about. It's really, it's really cold. Yeah, it's not hot. It's so cold. we wear this hat. Yes, yes. <laughs> so they wear the hat when it's sunny, they wear the, sat they wear the hat when it's raining, <laughs> and they wear the hat... For the tourists, so it's like free air conditioning. <laughs> ah, and many a, many yeah, and a, huh? kinds. Kind. And apparently, many I think kind. we asked that: Do we have to walk up the hill again? And they said they're going to carry us up the hill in a like with bamboo and like a little net. I'm not too sure what that's going to be like, but we'll find out. Ready? Ready? You ready? Okay. okay. So we made it down to the waterfall, we fell a couple of times and there are shitloads of mosquitoes here so definitely wear lots of uh, mosquito cream. Ethi's walked quite a bit but they've still got to her. It's about half an hour trek down from where the pagoda is down to this waterfall and they told us it's an easy way back up again. So we're taking the harder route down and then we're going to take the easy route back up again. But the waterfall is definitely worth the trek. Uh, we could have wore better shoes or trainers, um, but we weren't really prepared for this. We thought the tuk tuk's just going to drive straight to the waterfall, but that wasn't the case. The waterfall that we're at now is the second waterfall out of the four. And I shit you not, it's a really hard journey down. Uh, this, the rocks are really slippy, it rained last night as well. It's not easy getting down here. And the ladies have been holding their hands and helping us down. And also fanning us with their hats because there's a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, and a bit of aircon. It's nice and cool here though. Now we're at the third waterfall. This seems to be the top of the waterfall and you can just see the drop. You can see the top back there. Now they asked if we wanted to go and stand where that guy's standing. There's no chance of that. We've already slipped a few times. And I got a bit of a muddy ass, so... And I don't want to go down that waterfall either. I think there's about a 200 meter drop there. Not today. behind us there's slight correction it's the same waterfall that we've just seen but from four different viewpoints altogether it took about two hours 
to climb down to the top of the waterfall and then about another hour to climb down. I'm not sure we would have made it without the ladies holding us <clears throat> and the guys. They were literally carrying us down, like one behind us, one in front of us. Like I said, we slipped a few times and we did get bitten up by shit loads of mosquitoes. Okay, so we've just come from the other waterfall and we're at the BE waterfall now and it's just behind us it just pissed it down with rain and it was really heavy weren't it? Yeah I'm absolutely drenched I don't know if you can see my top probably ring it out and, but at the BE waterfall we just had to pay 1,000 check for entrance now it's a tourist fee each tourist gets charged 500 check entrance whereas the locals get they have to pay like 200 check So we're just finishing up at the Pueco waterfall. It's in Google Maps as BE4. And when you come here, you can walk around the park and there's several swings and there's even like a merry-go-round as well for kids. It's a perfect day out for kids if the weather's good. You got shops as well, you can buy food, fresh food stalls, wine, homemade wine, clothes, you name it. <laughs> and there's quite a few people down having a dip. Uh, we haven't got no swimming gear on. And it, the water looks really cold as well. And we're already wet anyway because it rained before, didn't it? Yeah, there's quite a few little ponds or there's quite a few little pools for you to just have a dip in. It's a bit like a jacuzzi really, a cold jacuzzi. So now we're on our way to Kandoji Gardens where they've got a few flower gardens and a lake. I think they've got orchids there as well so uh, uh, we'll find out what we get there. I think they're quite famous here. <laughs> So our last stop is Kadalji Gardens. Uh, for entrance, we paid about five US dollars each. In Chet, it was 15,000 Chet for two of us.
So we just went into the butterfly museum. We were we weren't allowed to take cameras or videos in there or film or anything. Uh, but they had like a thousand different species of butterflies, dragonflies. Beetles. Yeah, the, the full works. You could have spent a good couple of hours in there looking at all the butterfly species. It's worth a visit if you come here. And you'll also see the orchids. They've got wild orchids and normal orchids as well. So we found the best way to get around Mandalay is to get a grab. And now, when we're in Bagan and Yangon, we didn't see the option for a tuk-tuk. Now, when we come to Mandalay, there's a lot of tuk-tuks here. You've actually got the option to choose tuk-tuk. Now, it's extremely cheap to get a tuk-tuk around Mandalay. But we've been paying like less than a pound sometimes, and sometimes less than two pounds. Last night we went for a curry at Diamond Ring, and it's the best street Indian food you can have in Mandalay. We tried a few Indian restaurants, but this one's our favorite. Thank you. 